rating plus one o plus x item hash scp 783 object class ketter special containment procedures SCP-783 is to remain covered in a concrete sarcophagus of at least 25, 4 cm, 10 inches, thickness, and monitored by at least 2 Level 3 personnel and 2 Class B personnel. No life form should be allowed to enter SCP-783 without special authorization. Airlock between the outside of the sarcophagus and SCP-783 is to be kept sterile. Description SCP-783 is a small cottage located in Siberia. Kilometers from SCP-783 measures 7 meters by 6 meters by 3, 5 meters, and appears to consist of one room filled with furs, a rocking chair, and a fireplace. There are no windows and one wooden door serving as an entrance and exit. SCP-783 appears to be 200, 200, to 250, 250, years old, and is built almost entirely from local stone. SCP-783 appears to induce violent mutations in any form of life that enters it. Mutations are not always beneficial and multiple tests involving a specific species has revealed that SCP-783 does not alter each specimen in the exact same way as the previous specimens. Microbiological life forms are also mutated, and therefore each specimen is to be screened before being tested inside SCP-783. To prevent a situation like Incident 783-1 from occurring again, if the mutated specimen dies as a result of its mutation, the effects of SCP-783 stop. Single-celled organisms are not affected by SCP-783. All exposed subjects exhibiting data expunged should be incinerated after termination. SCP-783 is slated for intensive research in the next 6 to 8 years. Addendum Incident Log 783-1 A selected specimen, an albino rat, was released into SCP-783. The bone structure of the specimen began to extend through its skin, forming a rough exoskeleton around the specimen. Growth suddenly halted, after only 2 minutes 24 seconds. As the test staff began to send in a drone to retrieve the corpse of the specimen, the exoskeletal plates began to bulge from the inside. Test staff merely assumed the mutation of the specimen had continued, until a sharp forearm broke through the specimen's external armor. A large insectoid life form crawled out of the specimen's corpse and made its way to the door of SCP-783. Staff inside the airlock were attacked by this life form, until drive managed to kill it by bludgeoning it to death with a fire extinguisher. Closer examination of both it and the original specimen brought about the discovery that the life form had been a parasite living inside the cologne of the specimen, and had rapidly mutated inside of the specimen, until its increasing size resulted in its host's death. Testing protocols have been altered to prevent a similar incident from occurring. Experiment Log 783. Interview Log 783-1.